that you've nailed the solo that you wanted from your tune and it's all gone well apart from one note and then maybe there's another one that's just a bit out of tune. How are you going to sort this? Well, GarageBand for iOS to the rescue. I've got a backing track here on GarageBand, just bass, drums and keyboards. I'm going to play a solo over it, but purposefully get a note wrong and a note out of tune. And you can see how I can correct them. Here we go. <laughs> So the last note, I just bent the string a bit and it was out of tune. And then I also, there was a wrong note in the beginning. So let's just have a little look at that. That, I don't want that. So there's a little bit of processing that you can do. Now, the two, the reason I'm showing two notes, one that's the wrong note and one that's out of tune is that the way you deal with it is a bit different we will deal with both things. So, so it's that note there, that da da. Now if I open up the display here, you can see at the bottom, I've got my garage band guitar solo there. And I've got this note. Now I need to get rid of that. I need to try and make that la instead of la. So I need to lower it by a semitone. Now, what you need to do is to open the scale until you see snap to grid off. I'm just going to close this up as well so that you can see it a bit more in detail. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the note there. And then split it right at the end of that note, just on the cusp of the new note, because the note lasted for its entire length. There was no gap in between those notes. So split. There we go. Now, all you do is you select the note that you want to correct, go to settings, follow tempo and pitch, and then just take it down by a semitone. Let's have a little listen to that in context. You'll see it on the display when it goes over the edit. <laughs> You can't really hear the edit there. Even if I soloed out that guitar track, now, we are sort of fortunate here in that we have some effects on that guitar, that fuzz effect, which can actually mask any little audio problems. If I was to, for example, uh, bypass that fuzz, uh, which has got the distortion there, and maybe the phaser as well, and go back, we may hear something. It's a little, tiny little bit of what's called aliasing there, where it goes a little bit. But I'm going to reinstate the effects because actually, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. It doesn't really matter. If you just like the sound that you hear, who's going to know that that edit was even done? Now, I'm going to find the next bit, which was a note that was out of tune. There we go. It's that last note there. Nice. I purposefully made that as vile as I possibly could in order that we could play with it and make it good again. So it's right at the, the beginning of that little chunk there. So if I just split that. Now, as it was the last note, of course, I can just treat all of that section. Now, this is where you have to be a little bit more creative with this. I'm going to duplicate this track here and move this note down there. Now, because I've compressed the scale, it will have kept the same, it, there will be no gap between, oh, there is a slight one. Oh dear, I've got to be a little bit careful with that, just to make sure that one ends when the other begins. There we go. Fine. Okay, now I'm going to this time go onto this track and go into one of the audio unit plugins, which are the, the not very pretty plugins under plugins and EQ, but they are very useful. Now I'm just going to select that audio unit extensions and I'm going to find AU new pitch. 
Now it opens up a rather uninspiring window, which doesn't look very nice, but I can then flatten this note. I've got da, da. Maybe I'd want to go up to la la. Let's see what happens if I do that. Now, in terms of sense, there are 100 cents in a half step. So actually we're dealing very fine control here. The, the pitch control, pitch scale itself is very sensitive. As you can see, you know, you just have to move your finger ever so slightly and it will actually just, it'll move quite a lot. Now I reckon somewhere just over a hundred cents, maybe 125 or so. So you can, there we go. So I want body. Let's see what happens. There we go. Now I maybe want uh, just to correct that to the, the note that I had. So which is 100 cents less. Daddy. Or even the same note, but you wouldn't, wouldn't really want that. Unless, of course, we were to, because I'm going to come out of that now, I've got the same note that I had beforehand for that long last note, but maybe I could um, put a, an echo on here, perhaps. Let's have a look. Edit, uh, go back to the plugins and EQ and just put some put a, a slightly different processing on that last note to make a sort of statement about the end of the solo. And there we go. Now, sometimes technology, well, a lot of the time, music technology defines the music. That's how we've really existed for the past hundred years. Since the advent of recording technology, we have been bound by, to some extent, by the technology. But why not use the technology to really help in a situation where perhaps you got into a bit of a pickle and actually you can rescue it with some creative effects and other bits and pieces.